I attended one of Miranda's live food weekends, which I found incredibly beneficial because I am distinctly a woman who knows what one should eat to be healthy. And I, for want of a better word, sin all the time. And at this stage of my life, I definitely want to age gracefully into my 90s with um, healthy, stretching hands. I've come out here several times and I keep coming back because I live in St. John's and I have a very busy life. And I also have a very busy brain and I need sometimes to come somewhere like here where I can calm down and center. One time I came out and I just needed to get away from St. John's, so I rented one of the cabins here and was just out here being, went for a swim in the, under the waterfalls in the pool, did a lot of walking. So that, the joy, even though there is Wi-Fi here, the joy of being somewhere where everyone knew just do not call me for a few days. I need a respite. I love to travel around the world. And I've been to some incredible sites, the pyramids and China and India. Part of that searching, always a spiritual search, introduced me to yoga. With all the traveling I have done, I have come to the great conclusion that Newfoundland is probably one of Canada's best kept secret. So when I'm out here walking through the woods here, I, ever since Jerry Squires, Miranda's dad, started painting our dead trees in the middle of greenery, I cannot to this day uh, walk or drive anywhere without spotting them and realizing that I am one grateful Newfoundlander. We have such great fresh air. We can drink the water out of the springs. We can drink the water out of most of the streams that we have. And this acreage here is, is one of the more serene places I have ever been that makes me realize how blessed Newfoundlanders are. That especially has happened after I've been here for a couple of days and the mind has calmed down. I arrived here two nights ago, full of anxiety, and had been quite anxious for about a year that had a lot to do with family illness and family dynamics and life in general. And through the process of a bit of stretching yoga and dieting, where two people sit and uh, share based on a question that we ask back and forth. And when I came to the conclusion that at the base of my anxiety and the real root cause of my anxiety was an incredible sadness. What coming to my sadness freed up for me is the fact that if I'm faced with difficulties, that if I don't find a way to compassionately and lovingly get to the heart of that and therefore ask for some help as, and a bit of guidance as to where to go with my sadness, I will just hold on to that. Um, it'll, it'll camouflage itself in other ways, i.e. anxiety or racing mind, whatever happens to be my emotion of the day. But when I'm given tools and I see it honestly, then I can act with, I hope, what will amount to being um, a happy result for myself and anybody else that I have to be involved with. And that is the benefit of coming to a place like this, where there are people who are on a similar wavelength, and we get to talk and share, eat together, 
communicate together. I know, I know the benefits of going to retreats.